Yo, 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 what is up guys? Justin Dillaran back here with another video. And yes, you're probably thinking, Justin, it's been like two to three months already. You haven't uploaded a video. Oh yes, I know. But life's been, bu life's been pretty busy for me and probably seen the new hat that I'm wearing. It says Starbucks, cause I'm now working in Starbucks. And yes, that's, that's where I've been. Uh, I've been applying a job. Yeah, at Starbucks, been hired, and so far I've only been working there for two days. I'm still getting trained at the moment at the place. So that's been what's up. That's what's been going on so far. And it is the summer. I finally made it through sophomore year. I'm about to be a junior. And yes, sophomore year probably been one of the hardest years for me as a student, but I managed to pull through, gotten the good grades, made it through, and now just enjoying my summer, experiencing to work at a part-time job. It's not going to lie, a bit hard, but going good for me. So yes, aside from that, uh... The last video I made, I believe, was about me being an usher at a theater. And I tour you around the place. And yeah, it. I got in my community service hours for being an usher. I got in about, mm, I got in about like more than 20 hours of community service from doing being an usher uh, during the last time I was being a, uh, yeah. 20 to 30 hours being an usher all on all days. Uh, I was doing that specific thing in the theater and I got community service hours. So yeah. So yeah, um, normally when I work at Starbucks, I don't typically wear this hat. Typically you could wear any kind of hat you want. I mean, specifically I wear this kind of hat right here. Looks. I like this kind of style when I'm working. This is my work hat at Starbucks, basically. Other people wear beanies. Sometimes people don't wear anything, but typically it's best you just wear a hat like this or the typical Starbucks hat right here. See, it says Starbucks. And every day when I go to work at Starbucks, I always bring in my bag, me to work, have my AirPods, my wallet, sometimes bring my phone but usually I have my phone in my pocket and I keep important papers in here and this is what my apron looks like yeah see you got the Starbucks logo okay, so here's the apron you know I put it on tie it up tie a knot in the back then I wear it so Put in the apron there. And then of course, I'm still new working there at the Starbucks. Uh, so I always put a tag that says in training so that customers are, you know, they know that I'm new and everything. So yeah, so. So far Starbucks been going good. Uh, in Starbucks, uh, I'll say what's been going on, what's, what I usually do there. So, my beginning days working at Starbucks, so. So typically when I get in there, of course you gotta clock in, right time you get in, and then I start working, get my apron on, my hats. Uh, in most, some cases I'll wear a mask, you know, for extra comfort for the customers, so. Typically I walk in and check in and then I go out. Typically uh, I, when I go inside and I start working. <sighs> Cause I work afternoon shifts. Uh, I prepare pike coffee, which is basically regular coffee and dark roast coffee, black coffee, dark roast coffee. It's the same thing. So I make sure it's in stock, instant coffee and then I go to stock up on sugar, Splenda, 
oatmeal if it's about to go uh, go out of stock and then of course gotta restock and then with cups I bring it in restock on them of course cup sizes usually when it comes to cup sizes I usually would say another place is small medium large but of course if it's Starbucks our sizes are short tall grande and we go with venti and then there's trenta trenta being the really biggest size uh at the, our place yeah trenta for starbucks the largest size drink so yep i prepare instant coffee and usually yeah i work the cash register still trying to get used to it I made a few trip ups, few mistakes, but I've been getting most people's orders correct. And then, let's see, usually I watch the lobby, check if there's any clean or dirty tables. And you know, of course I'll clean it up. Anything to broom, I broom it up with a broom. And then let's see, so there are times I work at the drive-thru. Uh, Typically, you know, what I would say in the drive-thru. Simple words like this. I see a car pull up, beep, and of course I'm wearing the headset. Press the button to talk to the drive-thru. I say, thank you for choosing Starbucks. This is Justin speaking. I may help you today. Or I could say, thank you for choosing Starbucks. This is Justin speaking. Can I start you off? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I mean, I could say, thank you for choosing Starbucks. This is Justin speaking. Can I get you anything to eat, you know, or something like that, you know? But usually I would say, you know, can I get you something to, you know, or, you know, uh, I mean, uh, how may I help you today, you know, simple like that, you know. Always introduce yourself, always calm voice, you know, simple as that, you know. Try not to, you know, overwhelm or stutter too much, you know. I mean, if you stutter a little bit, it's fine, but just make sure you keep calm, you know. <laughs> yeah. And then, what else? And then, as I work the drive through, you know, I ask for their order and then I repeat their order to make sure the order is correct and then tell them to come forward to the window, bring up their order, and then it's either they pay cash, card, or they use the app in Starbucks. Yes. And once I work the drive through, usually my shift managers or other coworkers tell me another task I could do. And there are times, you know, I mop, but that's usually at the end of the day. And of course, when I mop, gotta put up the wet floor sign so I don't, get, so that I'll, we don't get sued for any accidents. So we don't get sued, you know? You gotta put up the wet floor signs. So I mop and mop, and then of course, dump the dirty mop water out, and then, uh, like I said, that's usually towards the end of the day. And usually just watching the lobby is what I've been mostly doing at Starbucks, you know, cleaning up tables, and every time a customer walks in, always say, welcome in, welcome in, you know, make them feel welcome. And then I take their order. And then once I take their order, I, they usually wait for their order. And then I go back to doing what I'm doing to see if there's any dirty tables, you know, it's simply what I do every day. I mean, typically I will only work two days a week because at the moment, you know, still getting trains. I work Fridays and Saturdays, but once I'm done getting trained, I'm gonna be working every weekend. So every Saturday and Sunday. As I'm a junior, that's what I'm gonna be doing every weekend. So of course, when I get home every Friday at sc from school, I have to do my homework. Every computer work, any assignment I I've been given to from my teachers, gonna do it every single Friday so that way during the weekends I don't stress what 
Oh yeah, and Starbucks. And also I've been taught how to restock on a few things, refreshers. I can restock strawberry, acai, lemonade. Uh, can also restock on sweet cream. Usually I'm supposed to restock them every about two to three days, three days for the refreshers. Lemonade gets changed. What is it? It's good up until two days, which is lemonade. So yeah, that's what I've been, that's what I known so far. So far I learned almost everything in Starbucks, cleaning and the cash register, you know, and I'm about to learn the bar next, you know. After this week, hopefully by then I'm gonna be on my own, right? I'm getting away from getting trained and I'll be on my own. And yes, I'll be working every Saturday and Sunday, basically every weekend. <laughs> as far as I know for this YouTube channel, I know I've been off most of the time, thinking of more clever ways to make better videos, and, uh, good ideas. And this summer, I will be coming up with more better ideas. Junior year is coming. Almost two months from now, I'm gonna be a junior. I'm gonna start my junior year in high school. So, it's been your boy Justin Villaran. I'll catch you guys in the next video. And uh, one more thing. Recently made a new Instagram account. It is Villaran Justin underscore 91. Because, you know, I put the number 91 as my username because I just like Dennis Rodman because that's his number in the Chicago Bulls, you know. <laughs> so, Villaran Justin underscore 91, that is my new official Instagram, my new official account that I will be using. So, I'll be keep you up, keep you up, um, yeah, sorry, uh too much thoughts in my head so yeah i'll keep you up to date on my new account bill ryan justin underscore 91 while my other one i will not be using that regardless because i'm not going to be using that account anymore so bill ryan justin underscore 91 follow me on that account and yeah i'll keep you guys up to date and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out